A question that has emerged out of the story in Cleveland. We spend a lot of time teaching small children about strangers, but how were three young women lured into a car? Well, you're about to learn why small children may not be the most vulnerable. ABC's Cecilia Vega. Kidnappings, attempted abductions, from the streets of Philadelphia in broad daylight to the toy aisle of an Atlanta Walmart to a parking lot in Florida. They happen all too often. But this week's news in Cleveland shows how predators can lure teens, even young adults, into danger. A 2005 ABC News hidden camera experiment shows just how easily teens fall prey to strangers using these tried and true tactics. Within seconds, this child safety expert pretending to be a police officer. Are you walking down that way? Gets two teens into his car. We're making an arrest right in front of that van over there. Come over here. They don't ask a single question. Open up, jump in real quick, real quick. Just sit in the driver's seat. That's all you got to do. Fast. Inside, scoot over real fast. Mom nearby watches in horror. I can't believe okay, she got on, the car. Minute. Cleveland police say Ariel Castro also snatched his victims by tricking them into his car. Remember, Safety expert Patty Fitzgerald warns kids of all ages likeness. to never, ever get into a vehicle without a parent's permission. Okay. The younger child gets okay, sort of scared uh, more quickly when things don't seem right. The older child feels like what could happen? I'm in my neighborhood. That's surprising. I know. Everybody thinks it's going to be the little kids. There is an arsenal of creative tricks. This time, the would-be kidnapper lets the air out of his teen victim's tire. Then he swoops in to save the day. Thank you so much. No problem. I want to back up and put right here so I can put it in my, my lighter. It'll work in yours. It won't. So give me one second. It doesn't take long. She's inside. In our experiment, half of the teens got into the car, but the good news is the other half did not. Cecilia Vega, ABC News, Los Angeles.